Hey, hello, how are you? Welcome to Road Odyssey. I am Burke. Hope you're having a fantastic day. If you like the videos that I provide, please subscribe. And if you're on Rumble, please follow. Here we go. When you get that change engine oil soon message on your display, you know what? Don't dismiss it. Be sure to look at your oil life. If it gets down, especially to zero, it is very serious that you do an oil change. And when you do that oil change, if you take it to a dealership, you know what? Make sure it's not some kid that knows nothing about the differences between a C8 Corvette and any ordinary car. Because yes, it is very important. I will have links in the description to my oil change video, as well as a couple of links over to Brian's Yellow Jacket Garage YouTube channel that will also have more information. So let's continue looking at this and seeing what I've got for you here. Let's dig into the owner's manual. And here we have on page 300, the oil filter type, a PF64. Here's what it looks like from AC Delco. If you can find one from Wix or another brand that might be a better quality, go for it. This is the UPF 64R. This has been used as a replacement filter if you can't get the regular 64. Right off, you will see a height difference and a weight difference. The base of these are different, but they both screw in to the C8 Corvette. The bypass valves take different PSI levels, so it is recommended that you stick with the regular PF64, but like I said, I am testing out the UPF64R right now to see how it works. The manual also tells you Dexos 2 oil. Now this is going to be a 0W40, but Dexos 2 is preferred. When you look for the oil on the internet, say you're in Google like I was, C8 Corvette oil change kit is what I typed in. You start getting up a, you know, a bunch of junk. What you should actually search for is the year of your Corvette. Mine's a 2020. So I said 2020 C8 Corvette. 0W40 oil change kit. That helped a whole lot and it came up with better um, purchasing options. One of them that I've used is Boost District and here's what I ended up getting with it. So the 0W40 Mobile One uh, ESP Formula Dexos 2 and the UPF 64 oil filter. You may also find an oil change kit like this one from Paragon Performance, where they will send you the supercar variant. This is still supposed to be Dexos 2. All of these oil and filter options should be fine for the C8 Corvette. If I have any problems, I'll make another video somewhere down the line. After getting all of my supplies, I went down to Yellow Jacket Garage, visited with Brian, and he did a video of using the Quick Jacks on the C8 Corvette. These are the smaller Quick Jacks, so I wouldn't say they're more tricky, but you definitely have to be careful. So be sure to check out his video on using the Quick Jacks. Another quick point to this video is Please don't wait for your oil to get down to 0%, especially like me, because I had driven the car really, really hard. And yeah, uh, the oil definitely needed change. You can see from the color, it has that red look to it. Uh, it's kind of burned up. So I had not driven the... Uh, the mileage that you would expect to use up the oil, but I had definitely driven the car hard. <laughs> so uh, my rule of thumb for me is to change the oil 
prior to 0%, say at least by 10%. Sometimes I have changed my oil on the Corvettes even when it's at 20%. Another point I don't recall being in my prior videos or Brian's prior videos is the drain plug has an o-ring. Check that o-ring carefully. If that o-ring's bad, replace the o-ring. My final point, check that oil pressure. After having added fluid, like when you get the first seven, seven and a half quarts into it and you're running the engine, checking that oil, Make sure that oil pressure is not going through the roof. It should never go over, uh, you know, 35. It should always be well below that. So when you're driving out on the road, it should be sitting like this, somewhere around 32. I really do hope this information has helped. Thank you so much for watching my Road Odyssey videos. And if you like the videos that I provide, please subscribe. And if you're on Rumble, please follow. Y'all have a fantastic day. Be careful what you do with your C8 Corvette. Make sure those people who are working on your C8 Corvette really do the job correctly. That's what this is all about. Either you or other people performing the work need to do it right. It's an expensive car. And I want to see y'all enjoy it to its fullest. So y'all have a fantastic day and I will see you later. Bye.